Hello and welcome everyone to Gold Asset of the Day for the 5th of May 2020 presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silk Club. First of all, what do you need to know as we go into a new week here? Well, it's been very interesting from a positional point of view. Hedge funds and money managers have again reduced their net long positions in gold in the latest week. And of course, last week we saw a failed breakout on both the European Central Bank announcement and also the FOMC statement for gold. So it had an initial breakout back towards that 1,721 US dollar per ounce handle before then starting to roll over and a break all the way back down towards 1,670. At the moment, gold price is trading under 1,700. We've seen the dollar index since the beginning of the week pick up momentum, which is very common as we start to transition into May here. Usually the dollar index is a very strong performer and this can put pressure on the metals as the saying goes, sell in May and go away. And we're starting to see some corrected price action here on gold. Also marry that up with the fact that the gold silver ratio broke out to 115 to one yesterday. Gold is definitely under some pressure here. However, I am looking for range bound trade over the course this week. Gold's continue to consolidate just below that 1700 level so far today. I'm looking at the potential for rotation back towards last week's swing lows. So if we were to get a breakdown in price, I would expect to tap back towards those levels. And these, if we find support and we see buying evidence, could provide you with some short term opportunities to effectively just trade that range and look for a move back towards the swing highs again, going back to last week. I am expecting more of this consolidation for gold here as we go through the next week or so. Now, bear in mind, we have non-farm payrolls on Friday. This can act as a catalyst for explosive moves for the precious metals. We'll go into silver in more detail very shortly on silver asset of the day, but essentially this week, Bear in mind that usually over the month of May, we see more pressure to the downside for the metals. Now, now that's not to say we're not looking at more upside in the months to come, because we are. But you need to be able to capitalize on both the long side and the short side. So when you're trading gold, there are going to be opportunities as well as buying it to sell it, take profits at the highs, then take advantage of these sell-offs in order to sell short, capitalize on the breakdown in price and then take advantage of the opportunities as we do get these dips in price for gold to then buy back lower. That can be a very effective way for you to capitalize on the markets. And of course, in today's market conditions, it's also very important that you're not using outdated technical strategies. You want to have an edge in the markets where you're taking into account research, market intelligence, data. You're looking at what the hedge funds and money managers are doing in the market versus the newbie trader, the trader that is only using, for example, 100% technical analysis or indicators that just don't work in today's market conditions. You want to make sure at all times that you have an edge, that you're doing your research. And of course, there is an opportunity if you'd like to find out more about a research driven process to the markets to join us at the Golden Silver Club. Again, right now is still perfect timing. Currently, with much of the world still on lockdown, this is providing you with extra time where you can really study a research driven approach, improve your skill set, make sure that this extra time that you have available right now is going to good use where you can put that into a vehicle, i.e. trading, where you're able to then produce a cash flow, which is recession proof, which enables you to grow your wealth. So if you would like to find out more, very simply click in the link in the description below today's video and you can make an application to join us at the Gold and Silver Club. So with that, that's been Gold Asset of the Day. And of course, I wish you good trading.